Welcome and thank you. This is the Affiliate Lab brought to you by Matt Diggity from Diggity Marketing. If you're here, then you're probably interested in learning how to rank affiliate websites in Google, and I want to let you know you're in absolutely the right place. Before I give you an introduction to what you're going to be learning here, let's first introduce you to myself and the rest of your trainers here at the Affiliate Lab. So before we get started, I just wanted to introduce you to myself in case you haven't met me before or encountered me before. So right now I'm making a majority of my income, I'd say 90% from affiliate SEO. So that involves ranking, monetizing, and flipping affiliate websites. But before that, I was actually an electrical engineer. So I got a master's degree in electrical engineering, and that's basically what I did when I got out of college. During this experience, at least for myself, it was quite traumatizing to be frank. A 40-hour week would have been a blessing. Typically, the week was looking like 60 hours, grinding hard day after day in a non-fulfilling job. So as you can guess, in about 2009, I started to look around for other avenues for making money that were outside this corporate wheel. And I got into affiliate SEO. So for some reason, affiliate gravitated to me because of the passive income aspects. And I started to make some traction with this. In 2011, really started to take off, and I decided to quit working for the man and become a full-time SEO at this point. So this is what's going on now. This is the projects that I'm currently involved in. Right now, I'm the CEO for a company called LeadSpring. LeadSpring is an 100% affiliate SEO company. In the first year, we're a relatively new company, but in the first year, we made over $1 million in affiliate revenue through monthly earnings and flippings as well. In addition to that, right now we have 45 live money sites, nearly 5,000 PBNs. We flipped over 16 sites and we currently have over 3,000 keywords on page one. And I'm not telling you this just to brag, I'm just letting you know that I have a lot of data and for someone like me that bases all of their ranking techniques on testing and data, this is a good thing for both me and you since you're learning from me. Now in addition to LeadSpring, I'm also the CEO for Diggity Marketing. This houses my personal brand and also my blog. I do some SEO consulting for both beginner and advanced agency level SEOs. I'm a director for a SEO outsourcing agency or done for you service called the Search Initiative. In addition to that, I'm the owner of the Diggity Links PBN rental service. I'd also like to introduce you to Jay Yap. He's going to be one of your trainers and will be handling most of the practical applications of the theoretical stuff that I'll be teaching you. So the background on Jay, Jay is actually from the Philippines. Jay started as a VA at LeadSpring when we first started off. Actually moved over to where I am over in Thailand, started working with me, and really, really hit the ground running. He is a natural SEO, understands all the concepts fundamentally, and he quickly moved up the rankings or the the latter so to speak and is that now my right hand man he's my go-to guy he's for you game of thrones fans he's the hand of the king some of his accomplishments include he currently manages all of leadspring's money generating affiliate websites he's the trainer at leadspring for all our apprentices in the apprenticeship program like i mentioned before jay's going to be covering the practical applications of what you'll learn here and i'm going to be covering the theoretical stuff. So our goal in this training, this is our number one goal for you, is for you to learn and understand the entire process front to back of building, ranking, and monetizing affiliate SEO websites, and also a lot of bells and whistles that go in between on how to get the most out of your efforts and make the most money possible. Now before we jump into this, what actually is affiliate SEO? Affiliate SEO is based on organic traffic. So let's say someone searches for the word vitamin C serum reviews. Okay, they've searched for it here. We want to be the person at the top. We want to be the number one guy in the search result. Why would we want to do that? Well, if we rank high on Google, people are going to click our result, and that's going to result in website traffic. And why is this important for us? In affiliate SEO, we basically monetize that traffic, and this is how it works. Basically, we have traffic. It's coming to our site, and we're going to put an ad on our website. 
we're going to tell people this is a product we recommend this is a review of various products and this one's the best and we're hoping the customer go ahead and clicks one of our ads when the customer clicks that ad and buys it on their site that conversion is tracked and we actually get credit for that we get a certain percentage of that sale so again we refer people to a product they buy that product and we collect a commission the great thing about this is we don't have to invent this product we don't have to buy inventory there's zero risk for us we just rank the website and then it's all pretty much on autopilot after that now of course with any business venture there's its pros and its cons the pros look like this the pros of affiliate SEO number one is it's extremely passive there's a lot of work up front to get a site ranked high in Google but once it's ranking it's ranking and it hardly takes any more input beyond that point I have some websites that are making me five figures a month and I give them about two minutes of my time per week that's how passive this can get on top of this you become your own boss it basically the sky is the limit as you'll see there's no limit on how much you can make with affiliate SEO but however you're your own boss so if you want to work more and push harder and make more money that's completely up to you but if you want to take a trip and travel around for a while that's also up to you this is what's earned for you with this passive aspect to affiliate SEO and of course there's its cons as well the cons number one con is it doesn't pay up front like client SEO with client SEO if you can rank websites you go pitch yourself to other clients and as soon as you shake hands you're getting your thousand dollars two thousand three thousand dollars right up front to go ahead and do the work for them going forward with affiliate SEO unfortunately you're putting up all the money in the beginning in order to get the rankings so it doesn't pay up front and you're waiting for those rankings to get that payday later in addition to that it's going to take more money to get ranking it takes more money because it is more challenging we're not competing on a local level we're competing most of the time on a national level we're trying to rank in google.com for vitamin C serum reviews or something like this that's more challenging than ranking for a Chicago plumber for example it's also more challenging because Google makes it more challenging every year what you'll find is Google increases the difficulty of their algorithm making it more hard to rank but for what I say this is a good thing when the challenge increases that makes it too hard for the masses to get results with SEO but for the people in the know the people that have the techniques and the testing results and all the background and they're in the right network and they can get things ranked this is a good thing the challenge falls away from Google and it leaves it wide open for the people that know how to get things done so throughout this course here's the entire process of what you'll learn we're going to start off with niche selection how to find an affiliate network how to find the right product to promote after that we're going to get into on-site SEO so keyword research using our recursive methodology how to design your site architecture outsourcing your content on-site optimization including featured snippet capturing after that we get into off-site SEO so how to set up a believable persona how to create a fully integrated social fortress determining your linking plan and executing that linking plan to a pre-planned schedule with social signals PBN links and outreach links then we're going to get into conversion rate optimization how do how to optimize your content how to deal with your design how to control your CTAs to get the most out of each visitor to get them to do what you want them to do which is to convert and then lastly we'll get into a section I call the kitchen sink now what I always tell other people what makes a good SEO is not really how they can follow the instructions on how to rank but what they do in a tight situation when they get stuck all sites get stuck this is just a common thing that's gonna happen to every site unless you get really really lucky so the kitchen sink is actually a list of techniques that I've developed through massive testing that help to get sites unstuck and I'm happy to reveal these to you so if we had to say what is the lead spring ranking style like what is my ranking style like this is how it looks in terms of on-site SEO we are very focused on quality content we pay a lot for the best content on the subject 
not just because I believe that it'll help me rank, but also the best content typically helps convert, which is basically our driver for making money. But at the same time, we're very highly technical. I'm sure you've read on other places on the internet, in order to rank in Google, it's very simple. You just go out and you write the best piece of content on a subject, you put it on a website, and magically you're just going to shoot up to number one. I don't believe that is true, at least not at this point. We have to understand that the Google algorithm is still a robot. It still looks at words as ones and zeros, right? So we take our quality content and we technically optimize it for this robot. It's not just about getting the best content, which is a very subjective kind of opinion, but how we optimize that content is the important part. In terms of offsite SEO, we're a combination of both white hat and gray hat. White hat means we are using outreach techniques and essentially what techniques that fall under Google Terms of Service and also dipping into some gray hat techniques like PBNs. PBN stands for Private Blog Network. You might have heard this before. Why do we use them? They work very, very well. They're the fastest and most efficient way to rank. We'll learn more about this in detail going forward. What also can be said about a ranking style is it's very adaptable. We will, at one point in the ranking process, switch from using gray hat SEO techniques with PBNs to a white hat technique. But if your style is to go completely white hat or completely gray hat, that is completely adaptable for you as well if you follow this course. In addition to this, we can also say about the ranking style is that we're squeaky clean. We do very, very, very clean SEO. As I said before, every site gets stuck. The key is in the debug key is in the debug. Perfect SEO makes the debug really easy. So if we always eliminate the variables, if we make sure that everything that we do when we're ranking is super clean, we can find out that six months down the road when we get stuck, we won't have to deal with 20 things that could be candidates that got us stuck in the first place. We didn't send crappy blog comments to our site. We didn't get a bad Fiverr gig. We didn't do some cloaking technique that's supposed to let us duplicate content. We do squeaky clean SEO, so when it gets down to that point, the answer is easy and the debug comes fast. So let's go ahead and get started. First off, I just want to give you a big, big thank you. I've wanted to do this for years to share high-level secrets related to ranking. I finally took the plunge, so thank you for being my audience on this. In addition to that, be excited. You're going to learn some things that you've never seen before in SEO, and one of the most important videos in the series is coming up right next.